Good evening everybody, Geraldine Leahy is my name and I'm the Transition Year Coordinator here at Colostra Pobles Atlanta. Um, I'm just going to take you through um, the main core ideas and events that happen in Transition Year and why it's a really, really important year for our students and a great milestone in their education. And I always start with the core values because I always think that these core values are never more important than they are for students in transition year. So we really encourage individuality and really um, encourage students to go out there and achieve their own goals and dreams. We want them to have pride in their own individuality and in their own achievements and also teamwork and supporting each other this year is hugely important. So in terms of the core subjects then, for the full year students will do English, they'll do Gwelga and Cultural Studies, they do Maths Applications, they do a Modern Language and Culture, I'm going to show how that works when, when I get onto the modules in a moment, and they also do PE for the full year. So the subject sampling that they get for Leaving Cert, and we find that this is hugely helpful for students when they move into picking their, their options for fifth year. So they do um, a sample of each of the main science subjects of physics, chemistry and biology uh, during transition year. They also do some business accounting and enterprise. They do humanities program sampling. They do home economics, art, craft and design, music, construction studies, IT, and they do a subject called career planning as well, which helps them in the choice of those subjects then for fifth year. So this is how the rotating modules will work this year. So students from September to Christmas will work on an enterprise craft and design module. So this is a very practical module where they set up um, their own business, they create a product, they market it and they sell it, and they will do the theory side of that in their business class. After Christmas, that subject becomes either construction studies or beauty therapy, depending on which they choose. Another rotating module we have, um, which is new this year, it's a nationally certified leadership training program, which um, makes basically students become facilitators in leadership training. And it's a really excellent program and an opportunity for them. Um, at the other side of that module is car maintenance. So we will have an actual car in the school that students can work on. So they're going to be doing some a bit of driver theory and also safety permitting. They'll get to do a driver, a driving lesson as well. Um, the last of the rotating modules in that section is the Spanish and German language and cultural studies. So for half of the year, they do um, a taster of those languages and a cultural studies module. And then for the other half of the year, they will do a French language taster and cultural studies in that module. So further enrichment modules that we will have on the programme this year is um, for one semester, everybody will get to do um, a module on international cookery. This then becomes a film and documentary making module, which again is a really practical module. And we have an external filmmaker who comes in and works with the students and they get to create their own documentary and or short film. That then becomes a coding module, which is a really interesting one for students, particularly maybe the student who is interested in maybe computer science for leaving search. But it just gives everybody a taster of what the world of coding is about. The last module um, there is around English. So we've got three different rotating modules in English this year. So one is the media module, which will be a film study and a course in radio production. So that would be an externally accredited course. Um, this becomes then classics, which gives students a taster of what is the foundation of all modern literature. And then the final one is the literature and life module. So it's a look at contemporary themes and texts for our students in the modern world. So work experience is a really, really important part of the transition year programme and we incorporate three blocks of work experience a week long for each into our transition year. 
Um, students are encouraged to, to choose like quality work experience. So in an area preferably that they're interested in following maybe as a career path after they leave school. So we encourage students to find their own work experience and use their own contacts. But of course, we assist them in every way possible if they're having difficulty with that. So the three block blocks um, span the full year and one in each semester. So one in November, February and April. So how are students assessed in transition year? Well, it's a continuous credit based assessment model. Generally speaking, students get 10 credits per subject um, per semester. Um, they get five extra credits if it, it's a core subject and they'll have a formal assessment or exam in that semester. Um, they get credits for everything they do. So whether it's work experience, involvement in Goshka, different programs, um, their portfolio work, everything they get, they, they do that they get actual credits for. The programmes that run alongside the core subjects in transition year are really beneficial for students. And I always encourage students to get involved in any way they can in relation to any activities that will develop their leadership skills. So Goshka is a huge part of what we do every year. So it's the President's Award and they develop different skills and, and make huge achievements in there. Um, a wide range of educational trips are offered. Um, so generally, we organise everything through, through uh, themes. So every semester has a different theme and the trips are geared towards those different uh, themes. Young Social Innovators is um, an incredible project that happens every year. It's a national project. Our students that you can see there in the pictures um, were our last year students and for the last two years our college have been um, regional winners in this project so it's really really successful here. Build a Bank um, is, is an important um, project every year that a group of students are involved in setting up a bank within the school. Lift Leadership I've spoken about already um, and the Jigsaw programme is a mental health initiative. Again, it's a national programme and students become facilitators um, and show great leadership in that area. Other leadership opportunities, so they can um, enter the BT Young Scientists. They're heavily involved in charity work and fundraisers, and that quite um, often links in with their Young Social Innovators programme. There's a real emphasis on enterprise, business and career with that module that's in there. And any chance where there are mentorship um, roles you know, within our school or linking in with the primary school, whenever that's safe to do so, it's something that we always encourage every year. So unfortunately, this year we're a bit restricted in relation to our international trips, but typically in transition year, we offer at least two international trips to students. They're not compulsory, but we find that most students will do at least one of these trips. Um, so one that I introduced a few years back, which has been really, really successful, is the trip to the Camino de Santiago. So it's a huge milestone for students and a really amazing achievement at the end of their transition year. Um, so it's a, we've combined it as a fundraising trip, so linking in with their charities. So they get some sponsorship, they organise some events and they raise a little bit of money to help them to go that way. And that's been, that's been a big um, part of, of our transition year programme for the last few years. There's also another international trip um, in there, generally to Barcelona. Um, and that's that's always very popular. Um, occasionally Erasmus trips come up as well. So students, smaller groups of students get an opportunity to get involved in international programmes where they might get to visit Italy or Poland or, you know, Greece or, you know, there's been different countries involved over the years. So whenever that comes up, we always offer that opportunity to transition year students as well. 
So graduation night is really a culmination of students' work. So it's a celebration of everything that they've done throughout the year. So there's the formal side of it where they receive their certs and their awards and their president's award. But obviously there's a more fun side to it as well. They get to choose the theme and how they want the night to, to look. So it's a really lovely night and it's always a, you know, a really important part of our calendar every year. And I hope overall I've given you a good picture of how transition year works here at Colossal Bubble Satanta.